I saw this article about pilot season for UK based actors. Maybe I can do pilot season from here or be in LA for a little bit and do an audition for pilot season or just do it completely based out of Europe. Maybe I should stay here a little bit longer in London and do that two week training at RSVP which is a actors call center basically and they offered me to start next Monday. I might just tell them yeah I'll, I'll do the two weeks so when I come back from LA I have something to fall back on. All I need to do now is just find somewhere to stay by tomorrow and then we'll just take it from there. I got a place to stay starting tomorrow with my friends, their family with three kids so I'm very happy. Hey, I'm just packing right now because I'm going to another friend's house which I'm very very excited and so happy like literally they're just so loving and it's just gonna be really good for me and they have children and it's just gonna be really good for me and it just has been very hard and I'm very exhausted it has been a little bit hard with my friend here just because we're so different and sometimes how she talks is very exhausting to me because she just wants to be number one and, and everyone is wrong and I'm wrong and she called me failure and defeated because I don't want my enemies to be crushed under my feet basically because I'm meek and I wanted to be meek I mean this meekness has taken me a couple of years apparently I'm suddenly not a competitive spirit anymore which we all know that is definitely true as if I have never competed in my entire life and apparently I'm completely also not sexy at all and no one finds me sexy especially no black guys my other friend is gonna come pick me up in 10 minutes hopefully he'll be a little bit more late it has been hard I just find myself having to spend so much time with God just ask God who am I just really have my identity confirmed you know know that I'm loved know that I'm beautiful and then because I'm skyping to a friend of mine and I like this casting director from that photo shoot I don't know why she's skyping me it's completely inappropriate I don't know her at all and this situation has been dealt with with my release form those of you maybe who haven't seen my last vlog about the sushi photo shoot where we did the shoot and then I read the release which I should have done before and I felt completely uncomfortable for certain reasons which you can look my other vlog and I didn't end up signing it now suddenly she writes this extremely huge you know how some people they like keep on writing and writing I'm sure I've done it before you know to a guy my ex or something and then it never gets read and my friend has done that to me I never read it you know because it's just like all emotional and negativity and it's just takes you down you know so she's like writing this a huge thing out of nowhere I'm like why is some casting director writing me a huge huge novel on Skype the first thing I read was she deleted it my friend wanted to read it to me read it to him so I basically read it all through she basically said how how dare I be so unprofessional I'll never work in this town again how I'm fat how I'm supposed to how she'll be working with more talented people, people who have real talent because I don't have real talent. And what I'm saying is just the tip of the ice. It, uh, this huge thing, I didn't even finish it. Very hurtful thing. She, she said she's gonna tell everyone in this industry in London what I did and make sure that no one's ever gonna work with me again. And just very, very hurtful, you know? And very unprofessional. She's going on on how I'm not professional and not signing this release, which is just business I mean this is nothing to be taken personally I don't know what trigger has been aroused or whatever for her to have this emotional outburst and then like an hour later she's, she's been taking it back and I haven't been answering because I was on the phone after that I was like I'm sorry to hear all these words I'm sure you didn't mean it I did the best decision of possible uh, but I'm more than happy to have them use my pictures if we just change the release a little bit and I wish you all the best and I just took it the highway like a daughter of God and I just refuse to be angry at these women I just need to stay grounded and I want to cry and I'm just so happy to go to my friends they have children and it's just gonna be so happy and childlike and free and I'm gonna be so loved and encouraged it'll be fine but I just refuse to 
feel insecure and now again I don't have any makeup and I've been wearing this for so long but you know I'm like moving houses again and will be staying there for two weeks and I just refuse to be insecure I refuse to feel fat I refuse any of these things literally I'm, I'm loved, I'm beautiful, I refuse to be angry and I refuse to wanting to have my enemies crushed under my feet because I'm a princess, I'm a daughter of God and I'm just over it, you know? And if no one ever wants to hire me in, this, in the industry, then I'll just create my own work and we'll find some way. I'm just tired of being a slave or being under pressure, or controlled or whatever. And I'm not gonna let her or anyone else try to tell me I'm not professional. And she was like, I've been way longer in the industry and have been way more successful than you since you're probably not doing anything. Literally very very mean i just bless her and whatever her issue was her period or what i have no idea what her issue was i don't know this person at all if you ever see this i just hope that you relax in the meantime and you can look beyond it and you can just see the beautiful things of life and worry about important things in life it can be so much worse enjoy your life be happy and you're loved you're beautiful i'm not angry I just need to be with some children and some good people and some animals and some plants and I'll be fine. I just hope that you can find your peace, be happy and know that you're loved and that you are beautiful. Hello, I'm at my friend's house. I'm just very happy and very thankful. It's very peaceful and I'm so excited to see the kids tomorrow morning. I can't talk too loud because everyone is in bed but I'll show you really quickly where I'll be staying as far as my room. It's really cute. Here. That's not my room. My room is really tiny. I'm putting up all my stuff and making it work, so I'll just show you really quickly. <laughs> from a really really good friend I still have it and it's my favorite and I got this it says carry the musical also mirrored so I can't afford a vlogging camera this is carry the musical I was in in Virginia and I got this from Virginia as well it's a Suffolk got this from my family I stayed with for Christmas really cute same this here I got from them I'm so thankful I have my own room and my own bed. There's even hangers. It's like cute. Looks like in China. Because there's not enough hangers, I mean just two layers. This for example has three layers. One, two, three. This has two layers. This doesn't have a layer. This has three layers as well. And there's my pants here. I need to bring up my suitcase. too big for them. I think it's already bigger. Thanks for watching. Keep subscribing to my channel and to everything. Just keep subscribing and following everything. Don't let any negativity bring you down. Be bigger than that. Be better. Be like I am God's child. If you don't believe it then at least say I am God's creation. I'm a human. I'm beautiful and you will make it. You will make it work. You will get there and don't let anyone else who's on their period or whatever make you feel bad about yourself and about your dream. I need to go to bed. God bless you. <laughs>